channel and YouTube, that's the Aston Martin all painted. And um, I've demastered a little bit of it. Uh, but I'm going to do the flat and polishing now. Um, I'll record some of it, some of the flat and polishing. Um, I probably won't record all of it. Maybe I'll, I'll just show all the processes on one, one panel. So these Astons are, are flat and polished um, from factories. So they're not gum finish. And I wouldn't say they're, they're complete glass. There's so many ways round you can go round doing this type of work, flat and polishing, for the for the level of finish that you want to achieve. Um, so these, um, if you look on my channel, I've done a couple of these now. I did a DB9 and another one of these Vantage, Aston Martin Vantages. Um, there's a video um, where I show the whole process of flat and polishing on a DB9. I've never done this before, but you can find it here. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but I'll try and edit that in as a first. So yeah, I'll talk you through what I'm going to do. So I'll give you a quick look at it. It's all come out, all come out all right. So these, these are obviously flat and polished from factory. Um, so to get, if you wanted this complete glass, you'd probably go down, you know, you maybe start on a thousand grit or maybe 1200 grit and then work your way up through the grades till you get to like 3,000. You could go five or 6,000 after that if you wanted to. And then compounding, machine polishing, and then maybe some refinishing, polishing with dual action. Um, but the last couple that I've done, I sort of achieved the finish. They've got a slight bit of peel in these, but they are nice finish. It's sort of in between, so it's, it's an in-between finish. So, the tops of the wings that I've painted, they're a bit of a flat, so I've got, I've got, you know, I've got, I've got the clear coat on there, quite nice and flat, um, so it won't require too much flat and polishing to achieve the finish that this car needs. So obviously, the sides are a bit more orange peely because you can't sort of lay the lay the clear coat down as well. Um, so what I'm going to do on this, I'm gonna, how I'm going to do this is the side. So this door. The bottom of the wing and you know the flat across the top of the wing um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sand that with 1500 grit with a dual action sander do that wet so that'll be with uh, 3m trizac discs so I'll do all of that with 1500 then the tops of the wings and um, the flat areas that I've got a bit more clear coat on. I'm just going to tackle them with 2000. So I do 1500 over it, over all these flat, air, all these side areas. Uh, once I've done that, and then I'll do 2000 over them, and then do 2000 over the tops of the wings um, and all this area. And then I'll go over it all with 3000, and that'll be fine. The bumpers, I'm probably just going to go into them with a bit of 3000. They're, they're actually not flat and polished from factory. They have sort of a gum finish on the bumpers. So that's what I'd be on the bumpers. Is just get a little bit of a tickle with <coughs> some 3000 and then get a two stage machine polish on it. And then I'll polish up the adjacent panels and bonnet. It's got a fair bit of overspray on it, which I expected from doing the bumpers on the car. The overspray is going to go up under the sheeting and up under your masking. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what I do on this. And then, yeah, I'll just show some footage of maybe just on the door, um, or whatever. I'll see what I'll show. I'll, I'll record a few bits. I'm not going to show the whole process, um, on the whole job because it'd take, it'd take quite a while to do this. Um, but yeah, if you want to see the whole process of, of flat and polishing, um, uh, to achieve the finish that needs achieving on this vehicle. Like I say, there's a, there's a, there's a video on my channel, um, flat and polishing on a Aston Martin DB9 silver one. I'll put a link in the description. If I can't stick it up where you're supposed to stick it up, where you point to, I'll, there'll be a link in the description for that. If you wanted to watch, that sort of shows the whole process I'll go through, but I'll quickly talk you through because I'm always waffling on all the time. I know I am. They say it, in, my family say it to me as well, I'm always waffling. They, they, they normally switch off <laughs> for me waffling all the time. But, um, so yeah, this is, what I, this is what I polish it with and sand it with. 
So all the sanding products would be 3M Trizac, the discs and everything, and any production paper that I might use. Um, so we get heavy cut rotary, and I'll be using Kosh Chemi heavy cut compound uh, with it'd be a Kosh Chemi heavy cut pad. A couple of sizes, it'd be probably the medium and the large one, and that'd be done with a rotary. So that'd be done with a Roots rotary polisher. I can get it out. So that'd be done with a Roots rotary, and then I'd do a medium cut again, it'd be with Kosh Chemi medium cut compound and then medium cut head and that would be done on the Roops Bigfoot dual action a couple of sizes the Bigfoot 21 which is a large and the medium so a variety of both of those and then um, that should be good enough for medium cut it's good gloss off of that I'm being black I might I may do another stage on that I may do the micro cut after which would be the dual action again with a micro cut pad Sorry about that. And then sanding wise, I sand it with, it's a snap-on uh, DA, air DA. No extraction on it, so it's only really designed for doing wet sanding. Um, but it's got a three, a three millimeter, no, two and a half millimeter. Yeah, it's two and a half millimeter orbit on it. So it that the small orbit is what's designed for really high, you know, um, really fine grades of sandpaper so it's it's quite essential to use that type of sander for for flatting flatting and polishing when you're anything from sort of 1200 grit upwards you want a, a dual action sander that's that's got a, a really small orbit so it keeps the like the oscillation keeps it really small and tight and it works perfect with the grade so your standard ones for like when you're sanding paint for preparations normally around six seven mil orbit on those da's um they're just not as good as using a smaller orbit that's why they're there they're there for the finer grade so yeah two and a, two two 2.5 mil orbit on the on the sander is ideal for flat and polishing it work works with the graded sandpaper from sort of 1200 uh, sanding disc from 1200 grit, grit upwards um, they work perfectly together that small orbit and the fine grit is that's they work it makes the the cut off of the off the disc work how it should do you know um, so that's it that's enough waffling <laughs> so I'll, I'll get I'll get set up and um and I'll get polishing this this Aston Right, so the first thing I'll do before before I start machining it with a dual action sander with 1500 grit, I'll just go around and do do some nibs. So it's it's fairly clean, it's pretty clean. Uh, got a nib here, there's one here. From what I can see on the side, it looks like there's just one there. And there's a couple of little light ones on the, on the wing. So I'll just knock the top off of them with a little tungsten block. And then I'll nib them by hand with 1500, just by hand with a bit of production paper. And then I'll start, start DA in it with 1500, then 2000, then 3000, and then I'll start polishing.
Oh, so that's all the sanding done now. So yeah, it was 1500 on a dual action Trizac. Uh, it was these ones actually. So those box is a bit old, I don't use them a lot. I've got a couple of them left. Expensive, but they do work really well. And then 2000, I done with these soft foam, foam backed ones, which they're okay. They're not as good as the Trizax, but they do, they do a job. They don't last as long, but they do, they do a fairly decent job of it. And you can use them wet or dry. And then over it with 3000 Trizac wet. So that's the sort of finish I've got. It's, it's not nowhere near like dead flat glass finish, but the cars aren't complete dead flat glass, but they've all got, you know, a slight bit of ripple orange peel in there. But, um, that, that'd be good enough. And just sort of gone over the top, really, I, the tops of the flat surfaces. I haven't, I haven't cut them right through. You know, you could, you could cut clear coat, really ideally, you'd, if you float, you'd want to flow coat it if you wanted to do like glass, you'd want to flow coat it. So clear coat it, sand that down, clear coat it again. And then you could sort of go, you know, thousand grit and work your way up and you would get on the block and do that by hand. You would, you would get like glass. That'd be like the flattest. You could get, you'd probably even start at 800 grit if you wanted to, but you would have to be a bit careful. Um, so yeah, so now what I'm going to do, just wait for the camera. So now what I'm going to do is um, uh, heavy cut it with Koshkemi heavy cut compound on the rotary machine polisher and then I'll go once I've got all the flatting marks out then I'll refine that a little bit with a medium cut on the dual action to get to get the heavy cut scratches out and obviously to get get away from uh, any holograms. So I'll see what it looks like being black I may I may do the uh, micro cut with the dual action as well. Um, so yeah, I'll get the compound and buffer set up and, um, and, and start polishing it.
right then YouTubes that's the Aston Martin all flat and polished and finished now so I'll give you a quick look I'm gonna have to show you it in the spray booth because it's um it's horrible weather outside it's raining and you won't be able to see nothing out there so you can see a little bit more in here so yeah it all went well happy with the results that I achieved with it all looks pretty flat sort of how they should look not complete glass um, but it's definitely definitely flatter than you know a gun finish and um, not too difficult to achieve that finish really um, there's so many ways you could go about flat and polishing um, but the, these these are not complete glass these cars but they are they are flat and polished so yeah it's just went went through the grades went started off with uh with 1500 just on the da um then 2000 then 3000 and then a heavy cut machine polish on the rotary polisher and then a medium cut on the on the dual action polisher and um yeah i think the results are all right and considering we had to mask everything up on this job it, it all went okay it's it's not nice having to mask stuff when they're tight but um that's what that's what we agreed with the customer to do that's he was happy to go with that um so that's what we've done you know I'd, I'd like to strip everything off we all would on on jobs it's always a better job to do it that way i'm not not too happy when i've got to mask stuff up but um it is what it is and we spent spent a bit of time masking it as neat as we could and it and it come out okay considering we left everything on um, so yeah, that's that's about it. The colour's gone in pretty good. Looks all right to the bonnet. I think this car now is it's going to detailer and it's going to have uh, it's going to have a three stage machine polish and a and a detail and a valet. Can't really see nothing on this back bumper. But that's sort of gun finish on there. We've left that as it is. And uh, yeah, all looks all right. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody and um, yeah, really appreciate you watching my videos and, and commenting and liking them. So yeah, please like, share and subscribe as normal and we'll see you again in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>